In this video, we solve the numerical on steady flow energy equations for the centrifugal pump. First, we understand the problem statements, then return the given data and draw the diagrams, then after we solve the numericals. A centrifugal pump handle a water at a rate 60 kg per second means in a pump we supplied the 60 kg per second water okay so it is denoted as the m okay so here we mentioned this given data okay so here do you see this image for the given data so first we return the m that is 60 kg per second this is the pump for run the pump we require motor water in water outs and we mentioned the inlet parameter here and outlet parameters here okay so cause the m1 is 60 so what amount of the mass is entered they are also outlet because it is a steady flow process okay so m1 and m2 both are same that's why we consider m is equal to 60 kg inlet pressure is 1 bar outlet pressure is 5 bar so here you see that p1 is 1 bar at a inlet and outlet p2 is the 5 bar okay so that parameter is mentioned here p1 is 1 bar but in a steady flow energy when we putting the value of the p1 we need to convert in a newton per meter square okay so 1 bar is equal to 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square that's why here 1 is multiplied with 10 raised to 5 same way for the p2 that is a 5 bar is given so 5 into 10 raised to 5 newton per meter square the suction is 2 meter below the center of the pump so in a diagram here you see that what the given the suction is 2 meter below the center of the pump this is the center of the pump and this is the suction below means water level is 2 meter below okay of the pump and delivery is 8 meter above the center of the pump so this is center of the pump water delivery is 8 meter above means they are given the z1 and z2 so z1 is 0 okay so here water level we consider 0 and what is the z2 z2 is equal to 2 plus 8 so it is a 10 meter the suction and delivery pipe diameter are 20 centimeters and 10 centimeters respectively means this suction pipe diameter is 20 centimeter so it is denoted as the d1 this delivery pipe its diameter is 10 centimeters so it is denoted as the d2 so here we mentioned d1 is equal to 0 0.2 meters okay so it is given in centimeters so we need to convert in meter okay so 20 divided by 100 we get the answer in a meter suppose this diameter is given in mm then we need to divide by 1000 calculate the capacity of the electric motor to run the pump means what amount of the work we supply to the pump that we need to calculate so we need to find out the work done w now we move towards the solutions before moving on to solutions i request to like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to engineering thermodynamics and other subject of the mechanical engineering for engineering thermodynamics there is link in provide in descriptions as well as on a card card means on a top right screen of your mobile or laptop you see the i symbols from that you can watch it now we know the steady flow energy equations so this is the basic steady flow energy equation that is m in bracket h1 plus c1 square by 2 plus z1g bracket over plus q equal to m in bracket at 2 plus c2 square by 2 plus z2g bracket over plus work done now here you see that lots of parameters is not given so even the velocity is not given so okay but we are able to find out the velocity from the mass and the diameters okay so we are not considered the velocity is equal to zero because we are able to find out the velocity from the mass and the diameters okay now here you see the pressure is given but what is the use of the pressures the pressure value is not in this uh, uh, pressure uh, notation is not in the equations but we know that enthalpy h1 is equal to p1 plus v1 okay so why uh, that's why the p1 v1 is used in this steady flow energy equations now we consider q is equal to 0 and u1 n is equal to u2 now we need to find out the work done so we convert this equation in a form of the work done okay so this another parameter is supplied on left side so it is going a subtraction with all other parameters so m in bracket p1 v1 minus p2 v2 how this p1 v1 and p2 v2 is written because we know that h1 minus h2 is equal to u1 plus p1 v1 h2 is the u2 plus p2 v2 but when we open this bracket it is coming negative signs okay but what we consider u1 is equal to u2 so this parameter is cancelled and it is come the p1 v1 minus p2 v2 okay so that's why we considered its parameter next is the c1 square by 2 that c2 square minus 2 is come on the left side so it is coming a minus plus z1 minus z2g okay and q is 0 so here we not mention the q okay so here specific volume is also not given v1 so we also need to calculate but for the water v1 and v2 is equal to 1 upon density okay so density of the water is 1000 so v1 and v2 is equal to 1 upon 
1000 for a incompressible fluids now we also need to find out the velocity so from the mass equation of the mass is the a1 into c1 divided by v1 or equal to a2 c2 upon v2 okay this is for find out the c1 and this is for find out the c2 so c1 is equal to so we need to find out velocity so we convert this equation this v1 is going with the multiplication of them a1 is going in numerators sorry not a denominators okay so it is a mv1 divided by a1 okay so we know that the equations of the area that is a pi by 4 d1 uh, square so it is a pi d1 square by 4 this 4 go in the upper part it is written as the 4 mv1s divided by pi d1s similarly for the c2 we can return this equation that is a 4 m v2 divided by pi d2 square so first we find out the c1 so 4 into mass okay so 4 into mass is given so what is the mass it is a 60 that's why we mentioned the 60 what is the value of v1 v1 is equal to 1 upon 1000 so here 1000 is mentioned divided by pi so pi is there into d1 square d1 is the 0 0.2 so here you see the 0 0.2 square equal to 1.9098 meter per second so you calculate you get this answer same way we find out the c2 4 into m m is 60 v2 is 1 upon 1000 so it is 1000 into pi into d2 square 0 0.1 squares we calculate the answer and we get the answer that is a 7.6394 meter per seconds now we putting all these value in these equations and we get the answer of work done so here you see m is 60 p1 v1 so pressure is given 1 into 10 raise to 5 okay v1 is 1 upon 1000 minus 5 into 10 raise to 5 divided by 1000 it is p2 v2 plus c1 so we find out this c1 1.0 sorry 1.9098 square minus c2 that is 7.6394 square divided by 2 z1 it is given 0 z2 is minus 10 and g is 9.81 now you calculate you get this answer minus 3152741 joule per second this minus sign is indicate that we supply some work done to the system and we know that when we supply work to any system it is considered as the negative now we convert in a kilowatt means first we need to convert in kilojoule per second and kilojoule per second is known as kilowatt so we need to divide this value by 1000 so we get the answer minus 31.5274 74 kilowatt and negative sign indicate that work supplied to the system so thank you for watching this video if you learned then like the video subscribe my channel for watching the more video and share with your friend